If so, you can, you can ask me, how can I become a very spiritual person? I am a very carnal, fleshly person. I am living, being led by the sinful nature. I have lived according to the sinful nature. How can I become, how can I become a spiritual, even a very spiritual person? There is only one way for you to become a very spiritual person. What is it? There is only one way for you to become, to become a very spiritual person. Oh, with Jesus, okay. If I take it, even though you have received the Holy Spirit, you can still live according to the sinful nature. In the Catholic Church, in the Roman Catholic Church, I was in the Roman Catholic Church long time ago. Many, many Catholics, numerous Catholics, received the Holy Spirit. But actually, they, they could not, they could not become spiritual people at all. Even though they have received the Holy Spirit, they could not become spiritual persons, spiritual people. There is only one way for, for you to be, for you who have received the Holy Spirit, for you to become a spiritual person. You must become a very, very, very spiritual person, okay? In order to enter the eternal kingdom of God. Amen. What is it? There is only one way for you, for you, now you have received the Holy Spirit, now, so there is only one way for you to become, to become a very spiritual person. That is, what is it? Believing in Jesus, including and with the power of uh, the Holy Spirit. I heard, I was told some bishops and pastors have come from India um, by flight. So I was surprised and asked one of them, We have come, come here to divide with great passion with great passion because of your great passion for for what for the word of god okay there's only one way for you to become for you to become a spiritual person a very spiritual person the word of god the word of god the bible by the power of the word of god you can become a spiritual person, even a very, very spiritual person, with the power of the Word of God, with the help, with the help of the Word of God. Amen. And a very spiritual person, a spiritual person, a spiritual person, a spiritual person is supposed to, is supposed to have have a strong, a strong interest, a strong interest in the Bible, in the Word of God. If you are a very, very spiritual person, you have, you are supposed to have the strongest interest in the Bible. Okay? In the Bible, in the Word of God. Amen. 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 
Uh, maybe you have a great potential, a great potential, all of you. Uh, each of you have a great potential to be a very, very spiritual person. All of you, each of you, has a very great potential to be to be a very spiritual person. That's why you are here. Amen. Amen. What I mean is maybe every one of you have had great interest, has great interest in the Bible. Amen. 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 Now, it's time for us to, to learn the Bible deeply. Now, let's get started. Page 6. Page 6. Once again, about the name of God, which would be through, through, through an angel. Through an angel. In the name of Jehovah, in the name of, of Jehovah, a very special angel appeared. As I already told you yesterday, the name of God, which was revealed through, through an angel, an angel, an angel. Page six, page six. Firstly, the name Jehovah, the name Jehovah was given to the Israelites only. Firstly, the name Jehovah was given to the Israelites, not to all mankind. The name Jehovah was given to the Israelites only. In addition, in addition, it does not mean all Israelites were used by God. Only a few special men whom God had chosen and installed were used. Like as priests, prophets, and kings. In the time of the Old Testament, in the time of the Old Testament, in the time of the Old Testament, the Israelites, the Israel, the Israelites, Served, served God, served the name Jehovah. But in the time of the Old Testament, only a few special men, only a few special people were used. Like as priests, as prophets, and kings. And also, prayer also. Prayer answer, divine healing, miracle signs and wonders were made to special people extremely, extremely limitedly, extremely limitedly. So, uh, firstly, the point is this, the name Jehovah was given to the Israelites only, to the Israelites only. This is the first point. And number two, secondary, secondary, under the name of Jehovah, all men, all Israelites, all Israelites are condemned, were condemned. In the name of Jehovah was given the law. In the name of Jehovah was given the law. The law was given, was given to the Israelites in the name of Jehovah. But given the law, which said that the one, the one who continues to do everything in the book of the law will live. The law says, the one who continues to do everything in the book of the law will live. But there's no one, there's no one who can be satisfied by observing the law. But there is no one who can absorb, who can absorb all, all the law. Who can absorb all the 
commands all the commands of the Lord. There is no one who can who can absorb who can absorb all the commands of the Lord. There is no one who can be justified by absorbing the law. So under the law, under the law, all men are condemned. All, all, under the law, all men are condemned. In other words, under the law, all men were afraid, or afraid to be to be punished. All men were afraid that they may be punished. They were afraid. Therefore, the Bible says, the ones who are under the law are those who are under cause, under cause. They were under cause. Therefore, the Bible says, the ones, the people, the Israelites who are under the law, who are under the law, who are given the law, who are under the law, are those who are under the cause. Under the name of Jehovah, once again, under the name of Jehovah, the law was given. The law was given to the Israelites. And the Israelites were under a cause. They were under a cause. They were afraid, they were afraid, always to be punished. Although blessings were promised in the name of Jehovah, if you, if you, Obey all the law. If you obey all the law, you will be blessed. But there is no one, there is no one who can absorb all the law. So they were always afraid to be condemned, to be punished. Although blessing you were promised in the name of Jehovah, there was no promise. There was no promise about redemption. Redemption. There was no promise about redemption about forgiveness, there is no promise. There was no promise of the salvation. No promise of the salvation. Amen. 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 Thirdly, 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 the name Jehovah, the name Jehovah was given to some in fear. The third point is this. The name Jehovah was given to some, to some in fear. The Israelites, the people, had to serve God, had to serve God in fear, in fear, trembling, in fear. God chose Israel as his people and gave them the law and they served God, they served God by obeying the law, but by obeying the law, by obeying the law. But there was no one who can, who can obey all the law. So they were always afraid. They served God in fear. God is greater than heaven. So they cannot be put and served in the temple which was built by man. One more time. God is greater than heaven. So he cannot be put and served in the temple which was built by man. That's why, that's why, so, that's why God made them build a temple and put his name, put his name. God was, God could not be, could not be confined in a small human-made temple. So, God made them, God made the Israelites build a temple and put his name there put his name there, this name is Jehovah, put his name there and made them so, made them so, that name, that name, that name. Made the Israelites so, that name Jehovah, that name Jehovah, and put incense according to the regulations of sacrifice. The name Jehovah was not the name to believe in and Call on. The name Jehovah was not the name to believe in. The name Jehovah was not the name to call on. To call on. But 
but the name given to fear and so the name Jehovah was the name was the name given to Israelite right? to fear to fear and so to serve in fear to serve in fear to serve trembling the books of the Old Testament are only saying that man should fear and serve the name Jehovah. Amen. Likewise, you have learned about the name Jehovah. Huh? Maybe. For the first time, clearly. That's why you, uh, you must repeat. Repeat. I know you are not familiar with this kind of deep, with this kind of deep spiritual teaching. That's why you need to read again and again, again and again, until you can fully understand, until you can fully understand all the contents of the handouts. You must read again and again, as I told you yesterday. Without this, there is no master. What is this? Without this, there is no master. Yeah? What is this? Without this, there is no master. There is no expert. There is no true servant of God. There is no true bishop. You must not, you must not be a fake bishop. Okay? You must be a true bishop, a true bishop. In God's time. A true bishop must be an expert in the Bible. A true bishop must be an expert in God. A true bishop must be an expert in faith. In faith. Our faith. But uh, as you know well, eh, you are not yet, you are not yet an expert in the Bible. You are not yet an expert in God. You are not yet an expert in Faith. To be a true expert, to be a true expert, you need what? Without this, you cannot become a true expert. You cannot become a true, a true bishop. A true bishop must be a true expert in the Bible. Amen. Amen. It's, it's a common sense. A true bishop, the highest spiritual leader in our faith. Must be, must be a true expert in the Bible, in God, even in God's time. But without this, there is no true expert. Without this, there is no true, true visa. What is this? <sighs> you already forgot. That is your problem. That is your biggest problem. Yesterday, I told you. Again and again, but you already forgot. If I told you, if I told you how 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 you can how you can make much money, you you will never forget. My my dear bishop, without this, you cannot become a true bishop. What is this? You are ready for that. Reading the word of God. The word of God thoroughly. Repetition, repetition, okay? Repetition, 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 repetition. You must read again and again. You must read repeatedly, ten times, more than ten times, more than twenty times. If you cannot fully understand, more than thirty times. 80 times, 9 times, 100 times without repetition. In other words, repetition or training, training, training. Without repetition, but uh, uh, in the mo most, most general, most general, most common word, common term, repetition, repetition, repetition is power. Amen. Amen. Do you believe this? Repetition is power. Amen. Amen. Repetition is real, true power. Amen. 
Without definition, nobody can become can become an expert. Okay, am I right? In all the other human area, in all the other human areas also, there is no expert without repetition. Without repetition. Amen. Without repetition. You must read, you must again, again and again, repetition, repetition, repetition. Without repetition, there is no true expert, no true all, all, without repetition, they can, they can become all fake bishops, fake bishops. But you, even only you, must not become a fake bishop. Okay? To be a true bishop, you must repeat again and again. You must train yourself again and again. You must repeat, you must read the Bible again and again. Amen. Amen. This whole Bible, you must read. I have recommended you in my long, many, many experiences. I have recommended you, I am recommending you even now, more than 30 times. At least, at least more than 30 times. Amen. Amen. In order to fully understand what I am teaching and preaching to you, you must read, you must read at least more than 10 times the whole Bible. Amen. 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 My, my dear bishops, my dear bishops, you must wake up. You must wake up. You must rise up. And you must, you must shake. You must, you must shake. All the people in the whole land of India. Amen. 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 First of all, you must you must wake up and you must rise up. You must rise up. Now we have learned about the name Jehovah. The name Jehovah. Now let's look up the book of Edge, 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 Chapter 7, Chapter 7. Now, you can see, you can make sure, you can make sure that instead of God Himself, a very special, a very special, special, a very special in the time of the Old Testament in the time of the Old Testament instead of God instead of God because God is so big, so immense so God cannot, cannot cannot appear directly to you God cannot God could not appear Directly to A to Abraham, to Jacob, to to Moses. Instead, instead a very, very special angel appeared or manifested to Moses, to Abraham, to Elijah. Amen. Amen. Now Acts chapter seven. At the chapter seven, at chapter seven, Stephen is explaining to the Israelites about the angel who who manifested, who appeared in the name of Jehovah. Instead of God, a very special angel, instead of is uh, in the name of Jehovah. Chapter 7, chapter 7. Okay, verse 30, verse 30. Well, you, you know, after 40 years, 
Hey, the pen. On the angel. Okay? Here. On the angel. No, the Bible says. On the angel appeared. In the book of Exodus. Exodus. Oh. The Bible says, God appeared. But now, oh, now, Acts chapter 7, verse 30. An angel, an angel appeared to Moses. Very clearly, very clearly. In the book of Exodus, it is written, on, on angel, no, the angel, the angel of, of, the angel of the Lord, of the Lord. The Lord means Jehovah. The, first, it is mentioned, the angel of the Lord appeared. And then God sent Moses. And the angel and the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord means Jehovah, Jehovah. In the book, in the book of Exodus, chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 1, 1 through 6. The, this chapter, chapter 3. Started, the angel of the Lord appeared, and then, and then he uh, the Bible, uh, and this chapter is mentioning hmm, God, and then after that, this chapter also uh, mentioned the Lord. So you can be very confused. Why, uh, why, at first the angel of the Lord, and 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 then God. God said to Moses. After that, the Lord said to Moses, Why, uh, I'm, uh, why uh, so confusing? You can ask yourself, but now in the book of the New Testament, Acts chapter 3 is very clear, very clear. At the 40 years, had an angel, a very special angel, an angel appear to Moses in the flame, in the flame of a burning bush, in the flame of a burning bush in the desert, your Mount Sinai. In the scene, in the scene, actually an angel appeared to Moses in the flame of a burning. Not God himself, not God himself, not Jehovah himself. An angel appeared to Moses in the flame of a burning bush in the desert near Mount Sinai. An angel appeared to Moses, not God said, but an angel appeared in the name of God, in the name of Jehovah, in the name of Jehovah. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jehovah, but an angel. 31. When he saw this, he was amazed at the sight. He was amazed at the sight, at the scene. And he went over to look more closely. He heard the Lord's voice here, the Lord's voice, the Lord's voice, the voice of God, the voice of Jehovah. I am the God. He said, he said, I am the God of your father. The God of Abraham. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses trembled with fear. Moses trembled with fear. As if, uh, as if, uh, this, this angel was God himself. Moses trembled with fear. Uh, and did not dare to look. As if, this angel was God himself. This angel said, uh, this angel said, I am the God of your father. An angel appeared, but this angel, this angel declared, I am, I am, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac. How it was possible? Because even though he was an angel, he, he appeared in the name. In the name of God, Jehovah. Uh, in the name of God. Uh, uh, in the name of God. He appeared in the name of God and he was doing, he was doing the will of God. He was doing the will of God. 
So he he could he could say he could declare, I am the I am the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac. Isaac. Have you ever heard this term? An ambassador, but very special, special ambassador, ambassador. You know ambassador? Yes. Ambassador, ambassador. Uh, amb ambassador, ambassador. Uh, he is not, for example, he is not, he is not present, he is not present. Uh, but um, uh, if the presence so much peace, but if the president cannot go to the U.S., he can, he can, he can send a very special ambassador, uh, an ambassador to the U.S. to have, to have a, to have a meeting uh, with the U.S. president. Ambassador, ambassador. Uh, an ambassador. An ambassador extraordinary. 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 Okay. He is not he is not present himself, but instead of the present, he can go to the US. Instead of your present, he can go to the US and have a meeting, have a meeting with the uh, U.S. president. But even though he is not uh, your president, instead of him, instead of him, hmm? In, instead of him, he can go to the U.S. and have a meeting with the U.S. president. He, he is called an ambassador extraordinary. He is not he is not the president himself, but but has all the right of the president. And uh, in the qualification of the president, he can even have a meeting with the U.S. president, with the British president, even though he is not. The president himself, uh, uh, because because he uh, he was appointed a special ambassador, an ambassador extraordinary. He can have a have, he can have a meeting with uh, with the U.S. president, with the British president, just like just just like uh, the president himself. Even though he himself is, uh, is not an ambassador, uh, he is not present himself. This kind of this kind of ambassador is called uh, plenty potential, yeah, plenty potential, plenty potential. An ambassador extra. Ordinary. He 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 is not present himself, but he can he he can do everything. He can he can uh, have a meeting with other presents, with foreign present, and able to declare something great. Because all the rights, all the rights, all the rights of of the president were were entrusted to him or given to him a very special ambassador, an ambassador extraordinary. Likewise, a very special angel was entrusted, was entrusted with the name of Jehovah and 
he he appeared in manifested and he did the work of God he the will of God and he and he and if he himself and if he were God himself amen 30 no. 30 30 and 35 35 35 this is the same Moses this is the same Moses who they had rejected whom they had rejected with the word who made you ruler and judge he was said to be their ruler and deliver by God himself through okay here through the angel through the angel who appeared to him in the bush now who appeared in the bush who appeared to Moses in the bush an angel a very special angel through the angel who appeared to him in the bush okay. 37 and 8 37 this is that Moses who told the Israelite God will send you a prophet like me from your own people 38 he was in the assembly in the desert with the angel with the angel Stephen is explaining with the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai on Mount Sinai on Mount Sinai God did not God God himself did not appear but instead of the Almighty God a very special angel appeared and spoke to him spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai and with our fathers and he received the living word to pass on to us once again 53 53 53 53 53 you who have received the law who have received the law that was put into effect that was put into effect through through angels through angels have not obeyed it the law the law was put into effect the law was put into effect, the law was given to the Israelites through, through angels. Why right here? Uh, why angels? Through, through a very special angel and some, some angels. Huh? Why? When this, when this very special angels when this very special angel appeared some angels some angels can also can also accompany him a very special angel a very special angel called the angel of Jehovah when this angel appeared appeared manifested even though this angel is, is not God himself, when this angel appeared, as, as, as if as if he were God, he were God himself, even though he is not God himself, when this angel appeared, mostly, mostly, or in some cases, some angels, some angels, also appear accompanied him accompanied him accompanied this special angel called uh, the angel of Jehovah Amen. Amen now let me explain to you in more detail and, and I am convinced you are very very interested in this problem in this issue are you excited about the name of Jehovah or not okay now let's look up the book of Genesis 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 chapter 
chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. You must read the Bible very carefully. Not superficially. Very carefully. Very seriously. Very deeply. Chapter 18. Chapter 18. Verse 1. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Jehovah. Here. Jehovah appeared to Abraham. It is actually Jehovah. Jehovah. Huh? According to the Hebraic, Hebraic origin, Hebraic word, Jehovah, 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 but they translated already into the law. Jehovah appeared to Abraham near the great trees of Makre while he was sitting in at the entrance to his tent in the heat of the day. Who, who appeared? Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah appeared. The Lord is Jehovah. Huh? Jehovah appeared. Jehovah appeared. First one, Jehovah appeared. But first two, first two, Abraham looked up. Abraham looked up and saw how many person? So three men, three men standing nearby. How many? Three. three. How many people? How many? Three. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. First, Jehovah appeared. But uh, three, three men, three people. Appear three three people appear. Yeah. At first, the Bible says Jehovah appeared to Abraham, but uh, the later, right after the, three men, three men appeared. Three men, three men. How many people? Three. three men, three men. Abraham looked up and saw three men. How many saw them? He heard from Abraham. Abraham said, and now. Uh, My Lord. Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. Eh? Now, Abraham, please for Sodom. Abraham, Abraham, please for Sodom. Hmm? Three visitors, three, three men appeared. Three men appeared. The Bible says, for the Lord appeared. But right after, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible said, three men. Three men appeared. Actually, three men appeared. First, the Lord appeared. But right after, actually, three men. Three men appeared to Abraham. Now, Abraham, please, please, asking for Zorda. 16. When the man, when the man, when the man, when the man got up to leave, they looked down toward Sodom, and Abraham walked along with them to see them on their way. Then the Lord said, Then the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Abraham will surely become a great and powerful nation. And all nations on us will be blessed through him, for I have chosen him so that he will direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just so that the Lord will bring about for Abraham what he promised to him. Then the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great and their sin so grievous that I will go down and see if what they have done is as bad as the outcry that he has, that has reached me. If not, I will know. 16, 16. When the man got up to, to leave, they looked down to Sodom and Abraham walked along with them. 16. How many people? 16. How many people? 
Men to men. How many people? Big men. Okay, to men, plural, to people, persons. But one of them is the Lord, Jehovah. One of them is the Lord. One of them is called, is called the Lord, Jehovah. Verse 10, verse 10, or verse 22. Verse 22, verse 22. Let's take a very careful look at verse 22. The man, the man turned away, the man turned away and went toward Sodom. But Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Then Abraham approached him and said, Will you sweep away the righteous with the wicked, with the wicked? now? 22. The man turned away and went toward Sodom. But Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Now, 22. The man, how many people? How many persons? Two people. Two people? How, how can you say two people? There were three, there were three people, but the man turned away. The man. So at least two men, at least two men, at least two men, the man turned away. At least two men turned away and they went toward Sodom. At least two men turned away and went toward Sodom. But Abraham, Abraham remained standing before the Lord, before Jehovah, uh, before a very special angel who appeared, uh, who appeared uh, in the form of a, in the form of a human, like a human, before the Lord. Then Abraham approached him and said, Abraham, Abraham is, uh, is asking him, is asking him not to destroy, not to destroy uh, Sodom. Abraham is asking, asking him, asking the Lord, asking uh, the very special angel not to, not to destroy Sodom completely. We don't know exactly, but the man, the man, plural, so at least two men turned, turned away and went toward Sodom. So, Jehovah appeared, a very special angel appeared, but actually three men, three men, three men, three men appeared, three, three angels, uh, like, like men. Uh, when angels, when, when angels appear to you, because you are a human, they usually, they generally appear to you like humans, like humans, because you are a human. Hmm? Now, three, actually three men, three angels appeared, but now the, the Lord, the, the Lord, the special angel called Jehovah, uh, Jehovah, uh, Jehovah, not Jehovah himself, but uh, the very special angel, the very special angel who used to appear in the name of Jehovah. Huh? Uh, Jehovah himself cannot, cannot appear directly to you, but two. Now, Abraham is asking him, the very special Angel. Abraham is asking, is asking the special angel not to destroy Sodom. But two, the other two, maybe the other two turned away and went, went toward Sodom to destroy, to destroy Sodom. Uh, Verse 22, in verse 22, it is not clear 
Uh, the man turned away to man to to man. Well, now that is not clear. Huh? But now, 19, 19, okay, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, Uh, the special angel, the angel of Jehovah, the angel of Jehovah was talking, was talking, was talking with Abraham. Abraham was asking him, asking him not to destroy uh, Sodom. But the other two, the other two angels were, uh, were going to Sodom and they destroyed Sodom. Likewise, when The angel of Jehovah appeared. When the angel of Jehovah appeared, some angels, here, two angels, some angels can accompany, can accompany that very special angel. They are called the angel of Jehovah. Amen. In any case, In the time of the Old Testament, in the one word, in the time of the Old Testament, God did not, God himself, God did not appear to anyone. God did not directly, God could not, God did not appear directly to anyone. To Moses, to Abraham. God did not directly appear to Moses. God did not directly appear to appear to Abraham because God is so big. It is impossible. Amen. Amen. It is impossible. Instead, a very, very, very special angel named the angel of Jehovah. He is not Jehovah himself. He is not God himself. He is not Jehovah himself. He is not God himself. But he, uh, he is a very special angel. And he, he, he spoke, he spoke and acted like, like Jehovah himself, like God himself. But he actually, he is a very, very special angel. He is, he is not God himself. He is not Jehovah himself. So, in the time of the Old Testament, nobody, nobody, Nobody could see God directly. Nobody could see God. Okay? Instead, they, they could see, they could, Abraham could see, Moses could see a very special angel. Abraham could meet a very special angel. Moses could see a very special angel. And, and they treated him as if, as if he were God himself. Because He, he had appeared in the name of God, in the name of Jehovah. Amen. 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 That's why in the time of New Testament, in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 18, no one had, had, no one had ever seen God. Wow. Huh? Very clearly, John has declared no one has ever seen God no one has ever seen God but God the one and only who? Jesus yeah? but God the one and only the son the son God the, God the one and only God the one and only God the oh, the one and only eh? God, He is God, He is God. Jesus is God. Jesus is life, life. Even eternal life. Jesus is God's eternal life. So, oh, God's eternal life. So, without Jesus, God cannot exist. Without Jesus, there is no God. Amen. Amen. Okay? 
If we do not have your life, your physical life, you cannot exist at all. Jesus is alive. Eternal life, God's life. Amen. Amen. So, Jesus is God. Huh? God. Jesus is God, true God, and eternal life. God. God. The, the one and only. Who is at the Father's side? Who is God the Father? Who is at the Father's side? Who is, who is, who was at the Father's side in the bosom of God the Father? God the one and only who is at the Father's side has made him known. Amen. Amen. Okay, has made him known. The Son, the Son, Jesus, has made him known. Has, has revealed, uh, has revealed God the Father. Amen. Amen. Has revealed God the Father. Amen. 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 Has revealed, made known. Has showed, has showed. Wow. Huh? Has showed God himself. Amen. Amen. Okay. Jesus, Jesus has shown you, has shown, has shown all mankind, God himself. Amen. Amen. In the time of the Old Testament, nobody could see God himself. But in the time of the New Testament, New Testament, everyone can see God. Yeah, okay. Numerous yeah. people saw him. So God himself. By, by, by seeing the Son of God. Amen. 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 That's why Jesus declared, anyone who has seen, anyone who has seen me, has seen the Father. Has seen God the Father. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's look up the book of John. Let's look up the book of John, chapter 1. Chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse 18. Chapter 1, verse 18. No one has ever seen God. Okay, no one has ever seen God, but God, the one and only, who is at the Father's side, has made him known. Has made him known. Wow, this very, very, very amazing, powerful declaration. Amen. Amen. And Amen. The same book, chapter 14. Chapter 14. Chapter 14, verse, verse 9. Jesus answered, Do not, yeah. don't, don't you know, know me, Philip? Even if I have been among you such a long time, anyone, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. There's only one way. For you to see God. What is it? Jesus. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. No one has ever seen God. No, no one can see God at all. But God, the one and only Jesus, the Son, has made it known. Has showed, has showed God the Father. To you. To all, all mankind. Okay. Now, have, have you... Have you seen God? Yes. Have you seen, have you ever seen God? Yes or no? What's your answer? Have you ever seen God? Yes. Have you ever seen God? Have you ever seen God? What is, what is the right answer? Yes. Oh, we have seen God. Yes. Very, very, very clearly. Yes. Very clearly. That's why we can, we can take the risk of our own lives. I can, I can take the risk of my own life. Because I have seen Him very, very clearly. Amen. How is it possible? Listen to me. Did you realize? When the Son of God, when the Son of God, for the first time, has appeared to, uh, to the human, to the Israelite, they could see, they could see with their own eyes, they could see, 
with their own eyes. They could hear the voice of God himself. The voice, the voice of God they could hear clearly. But actually, most of them could not see. Actually, most of them could not hear the voice of God, of the Almighty, Almighty God, Almighty God. Why? They, with their physical, with their physical, physical own eyes, they could see clearly, could see. But in a true sense, they could not see, they could not see. That's why they crucified him. Yes. Am I right? Yes. They could see with their, with their own physical, natural eyes. But they, uh, finally, they, they could not help but kill him. Because in a true sense, they could not see him yes. at all. Eh? And even though they could clearly hear the voice of Jesus Christ, the voice of the Almighty God, but in a true sense, they could not hear the voice of the Almighty God, Jesus. That's why they cried out, crucify him, crucify him. They were disappointed, they were severely disappointed about Jesus because they expected, they expected Jesus, Jesus would restore the kingdom of Israel. Okay? They expected a great powerful poli political hero, political hero, like right? Caesar, huh? great Caesar, the great emperor. But they, when they were uh, Greatly disappointed, they cried out, crucify him, crucify him. And actually, they crucify Jesus, the Son of God. In other words, in a true sense, they could not see. They could not see him at all. They could not hear him at all. But how about you? How about you? We did not, we did not see him with our physical eyes. We did not, we did not ever, we did not ever hear the voice, his voice, Jesus' voice. We did not ever see Jesus at all, eh? but we saw him very clearly. How? How is it possible? Okay. How? Through the Bible. It's not enough. Through the Bible, through the Bible, especially, we, we did not see him at all, but in a true sense, in a true sense, in a deep sense, we could see, we saw him very clearly by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. That's why we, we can take the risk, take the risk of my own life. Amen. Amen. Okay? We, we could see, we could see, we can see Jesus, uh, we can we can hear Jesus. Uh, we can hear the voice of Jesus clearly by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, and by the Holy Spirit. The uh, most crucial point is the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit, we saw Him. We saw Him clearly. That's why. We can we can take the risk of our own lives by the Holy Spirit. And even now, even now, in the Bible, you can see him very clearly. You can you can hear you can hear his voice 
very clear. Amen. In the Bible. In the Bible. And in the Bible. Why you are reading the Bible? But uh, even though you are not reading the Bible, that means through the Bible. Through the Bible, you can see and hear him clearly. So please repeat that to me. In the Bible. Through the Bible. 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 Okay. The Bible is just like just like a table. Just like just like a table at which at which God, the Almighty God. The Almighty God and you. The Almighty God and you. The Almighty God and I. Uh, sitting, uh, sitting together, sitting together. The Almighty God and you and I are talking, talking together face to face. Amen. Amen. Okay, face to face. The Bible is just like a table at which, at which God and God and I, God and I, are sitting together, and talking together, face to face. Amen. Amen. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Wonderful. The best of best expressions. Uh, you can never hear uh, this kind of deep, powerful, spiritual expression. Amen. Once again, the Bible is just like a table, a table. At which, at which God and you, God and I are sitting together face to face. God and I are talking together face to face. Face to face. In other words, in the Bible, in the Bible, through the Bible, you can most clearly see and hear. You can most clearly, clearly see and hear. Uh, see and hear the voice. Oh, the Almighty God. Uh, in other words, in other words, God can, now, God, the point is God, God can talk to you, talk to you, okay, in the Bible. God can talk to you most clearly in the Bible. God can talk to you through the Bible. God can talk to you through the Bible most clearly. Amen. Amen. You can clearly hear, uh, clearly hear the voice of God, the voice of Holy Spirit in the Bible most clearly, through the Bible most clearly. Amen. 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 Okay, let's take 10 minutes break. 10 minutes break. Uh, uh? Okay. 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 Five minutes, five minutes, or ten minutes, very well, uh, shortly. And then continue. No break? Okay. No break? No break, I don't know. Break of Shashi, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs>